day and happy Sabbath. Let us pray. Lord Father, thank you for this day that we are having. Lord Father, please bless these children and help them to know that you are the one true God, the one that will take them and guide them, Lord. Please groom them and grow them up to be stewards for your cause. Lord Father, also be with us and show us that, that message to help us to, to guide them also so that they will have a role model or inspiration to do great things. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath. Welcome to Children's Corner. Our memory verse today is taken from Isaiah 41.10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of courage. Be not afraid, no, be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never see. But the water that I shall give him shall be the well of water springing up into everlasting life. John 4 14. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Today's my verse will be taken from Isaiah 53 11. After the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of life and will be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. I got a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I got a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Flint. God had not promised skies always blue, flowers through pathways all our lives through. God had not promised sun without rain, joy without sorrow, peace without pain. God had not promised we shall not know, torn and temptation, trouble and woe. He had not promised we shall not bear, many a burden, many a care. God had not promised smooth roads and wide, swift, easy travel, needing no guide. Never a mountain, rocky and steep, never a river, turbid and deep. But God had promised strength for the day, rest for the labor, light for the way. Grace from all trials, help from above, unfailing sympathy, undying love.
boys and girls. Have you ever stopped and thought of the promises that God has made? Today, we will look into the special relationship Paul had with God. Have you ever had the opportunity to sail on a boat? Well, let me tell you, I have had the opportunity to sail on a big boat, the ferry to Tobago. And boys and girls, sometimes the water was a very calm. You even forgot you were on a boat. And sometimes the water was choppy. The waves were big. The boat was crashing into the water. And you felt so sick and so upset. Let me tell you today about a story with the missionary Paul and his friend Luke. Paul and his friend Luke were on a boat heading to Rome and they had many stops to make along the way. Now this time of the year was known just like in Trinidad for many storms but up to now the seas will calm with a soft breeze. However Paul knew a storm was coming and he tried to warn the captain. Boys and girls, do you think the captain listened? No, the captain didn't listen because he wanted to make his destination to Rome. So on one cold day, the captain set sail for Rome. Soon after, the wind started to pick up and blow harder. The rain started to fall. The waves got higher and higher and the thunder and lightning started. Everyone on the boat was afraid. Everyone but except Paul and Luke. Storm lasted for many days. One day an angel came to Paul and said the boat will sink and no one on board would be harmed. Imagine that, boys and girls. Jesus wanted Paul to tell this good news to everyone on the boat. And also, they needed to eat so they would have their strength. God wanted Paul to tell about the wonderful things God has done. Now, this text is taken from Psalms 105.2. God kept his promise. Amen. And one day, the boat ran ashore on a sandbank and everyone on the boat was saved. The boat broke into pieces and they had to leave the boat and swim to shore. Hallelujah boys and girls, everyone was saved. So boys and girls, I want you to remember to tell about the wonderful things God has done. Last Invitation Sihi moved with her family to the countryside after living in a big city in South Korea. Mother was excited about the move. Moving here was an answer to prayer, she said. But Sihi wasn't so sure about that. She felt sad that she had to leave her friends in the city. In the countryside, Sihi began to learn new things. Mother planted a vegetable garden, and Sihi and her younger brother took care of the lettuce, cucumbers, and corn. Sihi made sure that the vegetables got enough water. She picked weeds so the vegetables would have plenty of room to grow. Before Sihi knew it, the garden was filled with long, dark green cucumbers, round heads of light green lettuce, and green ears bursting with yellow corn. Sihi loved to eat fresh vegetables picked straight from the garden. Mother said the neighbors also might like to eat fresh vegetables picked straight from the garden. Sihi helped pick long, dark green, cucumbers, round heads of light green lettuce, and green ears bursting with yellow corn to give away. The neighbors were so happy to receive the vegetables. Sihi felt good all over as the neighbors smiled and thanked her. Neighbors even gave her gifts of homemade bread and pickled vegetables. Sometimes she returned home with more food than when she left. The Bible teaches that the more you share, the more you receive. Proverbs 11 to 24 says, 
those who give generously receive more. But Sihi didn't have any young friends at church. She and her brother were the only children there. Mother saw Sihi's sad eyes and suggested that she pray for her school classmates and invite them to vacation Bible school at the church. Sihi wrote special invitations for her classmates. But she was shy about giving the invitations to her friends. What if they didn't come? Don't worry, Mother said. It is not your job to persuade them to come to the vacation Bible school. That's God's job. Sihi and Mother handed out the invitations to her classmates. Not one of them came to the vacation Bible school. But one of the boys came to church on Sabbath. The boy lived with his grandparents and didn't know anything about Jesus. He didn't have any friends at school. He was so happy to learn about Jesus at church, and he immediately announced that he wanted to come every Sabbath. At home, mother told Sihi that even though no one had come to the vacation Bible school, God had blessed the invitations by bringing the boy to church. He received the very last invitation that we passed out, mother said. Sihi was amazed. He wouldn't have met Jesus if we hadn't shared the invitations, she said. That night she prayed a special prayer for the boy. Dear God, thank you for leading him to church, she said. Please let him and his family know and trust you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for your 13th Sabbath offering this quarter that will help children and parents learn about Jesus in South Korea. The offering will help open two important mission centers in two Korean cities. That's all of us. And visit me in him. Happy Sabbath, everyone.